Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 SDK tutorial video and in this video we're going to cover how parking spaces actually work and how we can fill them with different planes. What you may have noticed if you're working on a small airfield for just light aircraft and you've added some simple parking bays like I've done here which are just ramp GA small. We've put a number of these in, we go and run our scene and the first thing we notice is there are no planes in the scene. Well the first thing that you can do is just check your settings to make sure that they've been set to display the living world aircraft at the airport. So to do that if you just press escape, go into general and then go to traffic. If you look at airport life just make sure you've got ground aircraft density set to something that's not zero. If it's zero it means no aircraft will display at all so make sure that's somewhere that's not zero. I've got it 100 so it will populate it as much as possible. And then if we go to graphics and we scroll down just make sure that you've got generic plane models AI traffic turned off once you've done that what you may notice when you load your scenery is that the same plane just appears everywhere this small plane and it doesn't look great that you don't have all these different variations so let's have a look and see what's going on there so when you create a parking spot and you choose its type, it will automatically set the radius of that parking spot to 5. Now this means that this has got a diameter of 10 metres and the way the parking spots work is the only planes that can fit in these parking spots are the ones where the wingspan will fit in there. So this means any plane that's got a wingspan of 10 metres will go in this parking spot. Now there's not many planes that do have that wingspan. Even the Cessna 152 I believe has got a wingspan of 11. So to have a Cessna 152 populate like this you need to have a radius of at least 5.5. And this is why you'll only get the same small plane spawn in all of these. So if we go through this quickly and we just put some different radiuses in. So if we put 5.5 in this one. We can see it's a little bit bigger and then in this one we'll put 6 and then in this one we'll put 7 and then this one we'll put 10 and we'll just move this back a little bit so it's not in the way of the other ones I'll move this one forward a little bit and we'll leave that one as is so we've now made these so they can take a larger plane and now what we'll do is we'll save our scenery we'll build that and we'll load it up in the sim so now we're back in the scene and we can see that our parking spots are now being populated by different planes. And if we just reload the scene we should be able to get different planes load in every time. And there we go after a quick scene reload we can see there are different planes now loaded into those areas. And even the larger one can still load in the smaller plane if need be and we can see over here that that small one will only ever load in this small plane. I hope this has been helpful to you, if it has please consider subscribing to the channel, leave any comments down below and any likes or dislikes on the video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.